Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, on reflection and having sat here listening to the debate uh, this, mor this morning and then this afternoon, what a catastrophic strategic failure of leadership yeah, yeah, we've yeah, seen yeah. from Absolutely. the government to reach this position. A position where, as Parliament, we remain divided and we remain divided as a country. And I was extremely disappointed that the reaction to the indicative votes that took place the other day, instead of the government responding to that and yeah. looking at that yeah. and saying, does that offer us a way forward? Yeah. Is there yeah. a way of bringing those together yeah. which would actually exactly. uh, command the majority of this House and command the majority of the country? Instead of that, we got the government crowing from their front bench yeah. that no particular option had got a majority. That is no way to bring the country together. That is no way to bring the Parliament of this country together. And I say to the government, even at this late stage, they should be seeking to look to see what would command a majority in this House and what would actually command a majority in the country. But instead of that, instead of that, what do we get? We get a motion today which this House is asked to pass and I'll be voting against it with many of my colleagues, asked to pass, which sets aside Section 13 of the EU Withdrawal Act. It sets aside the British law. It sets aside the law of this country which says the withdrawal agreement will be passed with the political declaration and will be passed with the consent of the House of Commons and the House of Lords. Let me say this to the Minister and to the Government. I think the British public will be astonished, astonished that the Government, in order to push through its withdrawal agreement, even though it's been defeated twice, has come up with a ruse which allows it to, a ruse which allows it to say we will separate out the political declaration and we will set aside for our purposes the British law. They will not understand it, and frankly, neither do I. Let me say this as well. The political declaration, the people of this country should know that if the Withdrawal Act is passed today, there is no certainty about what that means for the political declaration. No certainty about single market. No certainty about customs union. No certainty about many of the other things that matter to the people of this country. As I said at the beginning, it is a catastrophic failure of leadership by the government and a continuing failure by the government to seek to bring Parliament together and this country together. Yeah. Free Clifton.